Uranus. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, one of the most beefiest tanks out there who does it all. Technically, you can just call Uranus Superman because, yeah, you need a kryptonite for this guy to really be taken off. Uh, almost invincible, but usually what people do with that is that they match up uh, against that Uranus with uh, the pickup of Esmeralda. So, you know, Geek Fam looking to actually pick up Popol and Koopa for the second time coming, which I feel was quite effective because they could actually land those service snares from long range. Long range is one thing, but, um, well, they do like to play with this hero quite a lot. Yeah, and Popol Koopa, if you can't get him from the side, from the flank, and just shut down Koop, uh, this hero, basically, that's just the end of it. Mm -hmm. You have to get him by surprise. And that's why they picked the Esmeralda one of reason. But Loi and Atlas, will it be that combo again? Because that's a pretty solid one. But this time, they stick with their guns again for Tammuz. Well, I, I think that they definitely need something to fall back to. So Loi is going to be the only mage that they're going to be picking right now before they hit it towards But they can go two. for Atlas. I was really hoping for Atlas. Yeah, honestly. I do think that it's definitely viable. But, uh, you know, Tamas heading towards phase number two. There's a possibility that it might just be banned away. But, oh, boy. Vecchi here locks Ooh. in. Lancelot for... Flexing it. Mm -hmm. Most likely for either Dominus, Arts, or even Feet. Oh man, we're gonna have to wait and see. This time they are bending out Hayabusa because based on last game, they pick a Lancelot for the side of Jeff Flick's Arrow Wolf and they pick uh, Hayabusa. Will they try to pick something else? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about there's still options of another assassin like Hellcut still out there somewhere. But it's kind of hard because he's very squishy. And Farsa will be bent out as well because maybe they are anticipating something like a burst damage. Probably, or maybe just a respect ban coming up from the Gemflix Arrow Wolf. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, of no. course, uh, this will be the better option still being left available wherever there. Mm, to not really a ban worthy sort of a hero coming in. Yes, a couple of patches ago, a little bit broken on the damage, a little bit broken on some of all these flame shots as well. But now things are looking relatively different. Now, Roger, we did see LY4 play Roger today with great succession. Genflix Arrowwolf is leaning towards that to perhaps tread out what they need to, which is the Esmeralda. Uh, to be at, on top of that, so is this somewhat of a, you know, copy-paste coming in uh, from Resurgence, somewhat? I'm not sure, but what I know right now, Geek Fam lineup is going full aggression here based on their draft. But I do want to see if that Roger gonna play as well as the Surgeons one. But the Singaporeans really love when it comes to having a Roger on their side. I'm thinking about Evos last time too. But back about the draft, they're gonna just settle with whatever they're comfortable with. It's gonna be another Ozora Veki, almost the same lineup. The only thing that they change is not having that Uranus on their side, which be replaced by that Esmeralda. That's right. And we are looking in towards a couple of seconds here before we get ourselves ready for a uh, a potential final game between Genflix, Arrowwolf, as well as Geek Fan. But now, with all of all these heroes being set to actually enter the Land of Dawn, does Genflix, Arrowwolf have the chance to take down a very on form Geek Fan? Or can will Geek Fan eventually crumble here? Geek Fan now looking for that 2 0 to advance and towards the next stage of the lower bracket. I like how Gig Fam has all different kind of hairstyles, you know. Exactly. <laughs> this is why I point out I'm so jealous with their hairstyle. Like, how can you be so on point when everyone's like, oh, I, I, I'm dying for the haircut. But Somebody <laughs> send me a barber because, oh boy, we want to style on these boys for sure. Get flicks, you got the... Ga hair game on eventually, <laughs> but you know, in that sense, Geek Fam has won in that sort of style direction. Yeah, we have to wait and see can they win this series in style as well? Because what being harassed quite hard almost got himself into the first blood while Clay tried to buy Monta, making sure what will be just go back for a bit. I haven't seen what playing 
well in the last Roger he played. He lost that game and probably he tried to redeem that in this round. But again, there was still a way for this red buff nowhere to be seen. Renaz me and also Midgard making sure they take away that um, advantage on the side of Kick Fam. Fix trying to actually redeem uh, a little bit of that sort of uh, takedown there. Renaz me, of course, soaking a little bit of that hit, hit and it will be first blood going in for the side of Fix. So he says, you can take the buff, I will take yours instead. I'll take your life, but they're getting themselves probably the buff too, because I do see Arts just scouted the rare buff in the bottom lane as well. Oh. And no Zora Vecchi just throw it into a death pit just now. And that's Geek Fam infiltrating like it's nobody business, disrespecting everything that they have been thrown, but still survive unpunished. Yeah, speaking of punishment, oh boy, where did the shot came from? It just deleted Clay right under his power. Well, there's a reason flame shot still exists, though. <laughs> For that reason only, and that <sighs> only cost them the whole, probably the whole game. We're talking about fix. It will be over farm here. They will try to take whatever buff they can, and even the bottom buff. I thought they will take it fast. Yeah, and uh, if they don't take it much faster, this is going to be Archer. Oh, did he just stole it? No, he did not. But he's still going to land that kill over on the side of Renasmi if they can. But Oh boy, he's low enough and lucky he made it out alive. That's a bummer because Art's the one who stole it and that's still giving a lot of experience on the side of Gig Fam and they are being stunted in terms of their growth of experience and gold. Arrow Wolf really struggles here in the first couple of minutes into the game. We're talking about Art's he is a mage, but with that red buff, his physical attacks also still painful enough. Back to us, mm. bottom lane here, cutting the crit wave from the back. Just oh play no. Uranus, but Clay go <gasps> down unreasonably. Just went down away and disappeared, poof, into teen air. While Arrow Wolf seems like they are struggling. You can see they're desperate to get everything together, but it just keeps on crumbling down. Yeah, and they are being shattered and bruised. This is just the beginning of perhaps the end because oh, Geek Fam here very contra uh, like. yeah like I, I'm looking at Feeks already up ahead Dominus is getting one kill Zorn as well things every single thing that can go wrong has gone wrong for the side of Genflix Airwolf but this is the early game that we talk about. There they need not, something to come back. Nothing is right for them. We're talking about 0-4. Even the title is being uncontested. And, okay, fine. The only person trying to buy more time is Renazmi. Keep on invading the buff, trying to do something. But it's not easy because we talk about oh. Valer is dead to burn him down. Look at that. That stun. That whiffed off. Oh, my goodness me. Renazmi has not have that much item. But can he run away from Ooh. this? Managed to survive with the help of the rune. But Will they still go in for more? It seems like he's not giving up, but he's okay for now. Thank goodness for that rune, or else you'll be a goner right there. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Zorn says, okay, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun too. Oh, the burst is coming in. And Rave now looking to actually exchange a little bit alongside with Zorn. The turret is down from the bottom side. And of course, this is going to be what here, going for the chase. And Dominus hops right back in. The wrong decision, my friend. And this will be Dominus. Are being taken down. Clay is going to be the next one to fall as we see Vecchi here secures one for himself. Well, Zon didn't hop right back. He's being pulled by Louis just now. We're forced to magnetize himself into that uh, tunnel of uh, whatever you called it by jumping in Rave. He's trying to do something about this, but Ozura Vecchi is smart, so My goodness me. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that is a little bit too huge for what I like in here, but what's going to be able to actually hop right back? Oh, a big dive coming in from Feeks itself! And now members of Geek Fam crashing right in. It will be a kill over on towards Rave as he finally falls. But that sudden immense pressure was too hard for Genflix Airwolf to take. Koopa is really painful. Even though Koopa, uh, sorry, Popo is like super squishy, but that wolf is something. You have to deal with it. But now jumping in and falling star and moon. And that is Lloyd trying to just avoid the team fight to get uh, engaged for more. So this engagement measurement coming up from the side of Arrow, but how much longer can they withstand this much of pressure coming up from Gig Fam? Here we go again. This is episode two of the home run. And uh, Renasby. So far, just buying so, so much time, but nah, I guess time just got cut short, and uh, yeah, Beaks coming with time. 
Uh, that time is getting shorter and shorter for uh, Genflix Arrow. If they have to figure out something super fast. We're talking about them losing another total freely for Fix. And Fix is not having any issue at all. They've been zoned out so much by just Esmeralda, who played exactly like how he played with Uranus. They keep on pushing the lane, stick to his gun, not even engaging with the wall in case he only needs it. it, it is they really in dire need of Esmeralda. If they're going for the bottom lane, then they're going to engage it. But the rest is like Ozora Vecchi again being left alone to farm. Exactly, and uh, I, I've been looking at the Uranus. He's been uh, diving in and out, in and out, moving across the map, and now he's just trying to actually stall up Arts here, who has already did what he can to just keep him at bay. As long as this uh, Uranus is busy, there's nothing much that Genflix Airwolf can actually do against Geek Fam here. So far, another turtle is going to be spawning in a, couple of, uh, a minute or so, but look at con map control. Definitely, Geek Fam has been looking at their best form. They're not actually giving any territory over towards the side of Genflix Airwolf. Even though they look very playful with their emojis on the side of Geek Fam, but they are very disciplined when it comes to getting the war and getting the fights on. And aside from that, the map control is really, really good. We're talking about bottom lane keep on pushing without anybody stopping. And it's like nobody's business. They just push all the lanes they can possible. Ozora Vecchi waiting in the bush, waiting for the surprise to be made. While Popo and Koopa just push mid lane. They have very good heroes. We're talking about... The oh. damage burst, Ooh. clearing the creep wave, getting that turret down is tremendous from the side of Geek Fam. A little bit too much for the side of Arrow to really soak in, and now bottom lane is gone. Mid lane is going to be the next one to fall, and what else is going to be next is that Vecchi here has been patient enough. He is looking to assassinate somebody because he has already completed that half the seize on his hands, and it doesn't matter. He's fighting that Uranus. Yeah, sure, take him on because. Now, what's next for Geek Fam is definitely the turtle. They can even solo it with uh, only one member behind, which is going to be Fix. Oh, again, he's going to go for turtle whenever he can. There's nobody stopping him. It's impossible to stop him at now because we're talking about his goal now leading 10k eight minutes into the game while Popo and Koopa, again, zone, just making it hard for anybody to get out from the base. They are zoning every single lane out possible. We're talking about the same thing happened twice in a row here. Yeah, this is just looking rather bleak for the side of uh, Arrowwolf right now. All they can do is just play very passively. They are right now turtling right under their towers as Fix gets his endless battle. Yep, have to seize as well. This is just, you know, oh, waiting girl. for perhaps the inevitable unless Geek Fam makes a major mistake. They don't. They won't. They are not. We did see, we thought it was a mistake back then when they played with the Uranus, but this time it's like pretty much not even making any flaw at all. We're talking also about how buff with that brute force play is done on Arts. Aside from Ozora, Vicky almost finished his BOD. Mm. Yeah, uh, that is definitely a big concern right here. Oh, look at the damage <laughs> coming out from Koopa. Oh. Even the support is having huge damage and chunk out half of the HP. If that was the tank we're talking about. Exactly, and the supports are actually at the same level as the highest level member of the SOT of Ganflix Arrowwolf, which is why I felt too many mistakes coming in from uh, Arrowwolf in the initial stages cost them way too much right now. And what can they do? They can't go out and farm. They can't even get anywhere close to where it's their own jungle here to actually get even more EXP. And we're looking at the next uh, Lord here coming up right, right after this within the span of 15 seconds. And Geek Fam can just easily get that if they want to. But they're just going to be setting up shop. Just look at the side of the jungle. They're just waiting right there for things to happen. Yeah, at the same time, the only economy they have on the side of Jeflix Arrow are the creeps, all the minions that are pushing in. And once the creep being pushed back towards the other side, they have no whatsoever income or sources to be relied on. We're talking about all the junks being wiped out by none other than Zora Vecchi, even Arts, and even Fixed Zone. All of them are actually making sure they're putting 
constant pressure on each of the lane respectively. They can't even just get that Lord uncontested again. And it's enough to put one particular support. We're talking about Pupo and Kupa enough to harass the tanks. I'm talking about just not one tank, two tanks running around just by one particular support. Oh boy, I, I mean, I'm not too sure how exactly are they gonna be coping after this and Yep, Lord is out. They're going to be having this one going down the mid lane. And yep, all five members are here, all ready to just... just not go anywhere. Yeah, they're like, okay, just hug the tower. And we're going to be having a bus here being set up. And hopefully this Lord just, you know, vanquish eventually. <laughs> How? We're, they're waiting for the mistake to be made by Gig Fam. So if they are a bit... Disrespectful, Jamflex Arrow might have some um, light at the end of the tunnel, which looks like very, very dark right now. Oh yeah, Becky already got got himself a BOD over his hands, a Tina Shield for the side of Dominus as well. The Tank Valier is still up online, and over the bottom side, Arts overextending for a little bit, but over the top lane though, Becky, free roam, free tower, and now it's time to actually claim the mid lane as well. Only one tower left for the side of Gameflex Airwolf, and now Arts marching right in. This is not looking all too good. Now, one more wave here that determines whether or not can Genflix actually hold on for dear life? Arts coming in for the flank as well, but they're already calling in for retreat. What can they do right now? Becky looks for a rape. Oh, oh they pull it back. There's just no way out of there. The moment they are one man lack, and they're just going to push for more. They want for more. They want to wipe the whole team here. And Minions creeping in slowly but surely. And now they have the force to just finish this game over. Will Geekfam finish it or will it stall for more? They want to play for more. Ooh. They aim for the heroes. Nobody aim for the turret or the throne, but Crips coming in. Minion try to push it away. Fix, relax, oh. get off health. What final is a glimpse of light there, but one almost knocked down and away. But there you go, one more going down. Three v three right now. At the same time, the minion is putting a lot of pressure towards them. Uh, this is a good old time for Gameflex and to actually respond because they overtake their welcome and uh, Dominus will go down. My goodness me, it took it long enough. And now Arts still hanging on right here, and they are just buying so much time, but. Hey, at least Genflix Airwolf got themselves another three minutes in hand. They waited that mistake to be made a bit late for sure because all the inhibitor turrets nowhere to be seen. It's a squeaky, squeaky clean base with only a throne left. And it's so hard for them to push, but it's not easy to get fam to finish it off as well. Look at this Esmeralda though. How long has he been there? Look at that shield. The mana is not been Look moved at, at all. <laughs> like, this guy is indestructible. It's full white HP bar. It's double Esmeralda you have to fight against. And now they're trying to force the fight. One more odds is really low, but he needs to back off a bit. They just arrive with the rest of Cavalry Fix coming in right now. They have core damage. Killer. Finally hops in with the rest of the team here. Oh, kind of missed that one now. They straight away going for retreat. They know they cannot stand a chance with oh, one man down. There goes Fix though. He's looking for mid. God, uh, Kupa's going to uh, take in a bite. And here comes Runasmi trying to actually dive over the back line as well. Here comes Arts trying to actually recommit towards this engagement here. The waves are good, and Dick Fam looking to settle the scores right here, right now, as they will be able to take down every single one of these members, leaving only Clay behind, and they will secure a 2-0 victory. Beautiful work as they clean sweep Ganflakes Arrowwolf to advance and towards the next stages.